Once you've made the cable connections, the connections need configuring within the software. On the master screen, touch the setup menu and select Audio I.O. Select the rack to be shared in the list of ports. Then select the splits and sharing button. By default, the rack is not set as shared, so press the shared button to share the rack. It immediately switches to isolate mode. You can then set it to receive only or full connect according to how you are physically connected to it. There's one additional element that will affect your ability to set your shared rack status into full control or receive only. If you open the network panel from the master screen, there is a button called Audio Master. Normally, when you are running as a standalone console, this button serves no purpose. But when sharing racks, this button needs to be set correctly. If you are the console that is in full connect, the Audio Master button needs to be pressed down. If you are the console that is in receive only, then this button should not be pressed. It's easy to tell if it's pressed or not by its color. Yellow is pressed. Blue is not pressed. Now you're all set up with your shared rack. If you're the fully connected console, you have control of the head amp gain. That's the mic amps in the connected rack. And if you're the receive only console, you can't adjust the mic amp gain. If you try, the pot just doesn't move. However, if the other console makes an adjustment to the gain, that change is transmitted back to you so your mic gain pot will correctly show the actual level set. So imagine you're on a monitor console and you're in receive only. The engineer at front of house makes an adjustment and because you're sharing the same mic amp, his adjustment will affect your audio levels. This might be okay, but will also affect other levels within your console. Your monitor mixes might change or dynamics thresholds affected. You can protect yourself against this using our gain tracking system. Once enabled on the channels, it automatically compensates for adjustments made to the mic amp gain by moving the digital trim in the opposite direction. For example, the front of house guy adds 6 dB to the mic amp gain on channel 27. If gain tracking is enabled on that channel, your digital trim would reduce by 6 dB and the result is that the audio level entering channel 27 does not change.